have you always been this fit? Let's let's go back to that. When when did you actually start to? Uh, you is this know, the best venue for this? Should we have a? Better? Yeah, this is cool. This is good because we're gonna we're gonna probably uh, do some cutaway stuff. We're gonna go to the gym. Yeah, we're definitely gonna go to the gym. But anyway, I was at a jazz function in Sarasota at a church, and I came out of this out of it. And there was all this commotion over in the road over here, in State Street over in Sarasota. And I went over and I said, what the hell is all this? And there was a guy out there flexing. He was in the middle of the street like this. And I said, what is this all about? And they said, well, we just opened up a new gym right here. And I said, really? Well, what's the deal? So it was too late at night to get anything figured out. So the night said, well, I'm coming back next day to check it out. So I did. I came back the next day. And I met the guy who owns it. Or actually, yeah, I met the guy who owns it and the, and the guy who was the head trainer there. That was very small, very, very small. Yeah, but were you working gym. out at the time? I always go, I always was working out, but I was not, I was just going to the gym and sort of lifting weights. Yeah, and, right. You know, doing it relatively the right way. But, you know, I've always been very conscious of my, of, you know, being in physically fairly good shape. Right, right. I mean, I, there were stages in my life where I was not in as good shape as other times. Right. But, but you always but I always of, I never really got completely gone you know really really out or gone I've always been conscious of you know I, I staying you know, fit it's part of my part of my makeup sure so I met the guy who's the trainer there his name was Tim Stearns and um, it was a little what a little gym and I thought this is cool this would be a hardcore little gym I could go start training at and I had never done any personal training because it costs a lot of money but I asked him, I said, do you do personal training? He said, yes. Yeah. So actually, I signed up for like eight or six sessions of personal training with Tim Stearns. And frankly, that really got the key. I mean, it just went boom like that. And I said, dude, I am going to do this. and I'm going to take it to a level that's not been known for a 70-year-old person to do or a 69 or 68-year-old person. And I'm just going to go. And I'm is that go. right? Yeah. And I said, you know, I want, I've always admired. I think bodybuilding is cool. It's very subculture, which I love. It's not mainstream, which I love. I love the fact that people think it's bizarre, weird, creepy, awesome, wacky. I love all that aspect of it. It doesn't bother you. No, I, I, thr I thrive on it. I love it that people. Well, well uh, why would you? Why would you love it if it if if you think people think it's creepy though? I don't understand. Because that. I've come to a stage in my life that, it, and unfortunately, I. I I became aware of this a little too late in my life, but it is what it is, and that's an expression I cannot stand, by the way, as you'll find out. But um, I, if I want to do it, I'm going to do what I want to do. I haven't got time to waste the, any time with people that I don't get stuff back from. I, not that I give to get, but I want to receive back uh, you know, t life is too precious. Time is too precious, and you, and unfortunately, you, you, I you find that out too so late in life. The first show I went to was actually in the uh, the or uh, Europa, in Orlando, which is a great big giant show. It's an NPC show. And NPC is the amateur arm of bodybuilding. IFBB is the professional. So this show in the Europa in Orlando is an NPC show and a professional show. It's a great big show. You get a lot of professionals there. A lot of so it was a great show, huge, huge show. And I went in the over sixty in the Europa and I won it. Wow! That was my first show. That would have been like. So I won my first show out of the boat. It was really yeah, cool. Yeah, so my, great. My sisters came and. My, brother, oh. my and people came and I was. Did you think my, you were going to win it though? I had no idea. No, I, you know, I do, I don't go. I don't do shows to come in second. I can assure you that I don't do it. Yeah. You know, some people say, "Oh, we're just showing up as you know, winning." And I said, "No." Mm. But it was my first one, so. Gosh. I loved it. Great, I freaking man. loved it. So then I did another show. Then I went to then I went to Pittsburgh, in July, and went in the over sixty and the over seventy. Because I, that day, I just by one day, I had turned 70. So I came in fourth in the over 60. Now, that's a national show. The Europa here is a, more of a regional. It wasn't a national. Um, I came in fourth in the over 60, and I won the over 70. So I am a national champion. That is, congratulations, so, Peter. Uh, I mean, yeah. I think it's really amazing that when you're 70 years old and you look like these guys do, 
you look good. I mean, look, I'm one of those guys that goes, well, you know, the size and the giant size of these guys, it, it doesn't really appeal to me. But at your age, I want to look as close to that as possible at 70. Okay, let me put it to you that way. They look, you guys look really good. You don't not, look like None freaky. of them look as good as me, though. No, you, hey, they come don't. on. No, they don't. You got it going on, buddy. <laughs> well, <I'm>... <laughs> <laughs> so I just want you to know that, that it's an interesting um, goal a, a, as you're older. And, you know, the energy level that you must have, I mean... It, it, t it takes a lot of energy, and I hate to give any, I hate to give anything out you know, uh, chalk it up to, to age, but I just don't have the energy that I used to have when I, you know, 71, you just don't, I hate not. to admit that. Right, I see. I hate it. it Do you fight it? Oh, it does. It fights, I hate it. And I get, when I, I mean, I run out of energy. Right. And I have to just go crap out for 20 minutes or 40 minutes. Right. And then it takes a little while to get cranked up, and then once I get cranked up again, then I'm fine. Hey, well, you gotta, at some point, you like, gotta say to yourself, you know, I'm getting old. Yeah, older. Uh, older, old, whatever. This is my basket class girls down in uh, Venice. So how often do you work out? I train pretty much every day, uh, which is a bad thing to do, but um, I do take days off. Yeah. And we'll see some of that training now, right? Thank you. 